Hey, Rimadas Petrauskas here. Welcome to my MetaTrader tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can run more than one expert advisor in the same MetaTrader terminal on different time frame of same currency. So, if you have like euro dollar currency and you want to run multiple expert advisors on different time frames of the same currency, I'm going to show you how it's done, you know, because initially MetaTrader doesn't allow you to attach more than one expert advisor to the same chart. So basically in this video, you will learn how to attach lots of expert advisors on the same chart or same currency pair or, you know, any way around. Basically, <laughs> you can have the same or, you know, different Forex robot trading on different time frame. Uh, you know, of the same currency pair or different pairs or, you know, or the same pair, same currency, uh, you know, in the same time frame. So basically a lot of uh, different variations you can do, you know. So basically to do this, all we have to learn is how to attach, you know, more than one expert advisor to the chart. So let's see how this looks like. So I have a euro dollar one hour time frame chart and I try to chart uh, attach MACD expert advisor click OK you know it's like a default expert advisor it comes with any meta trader it basically doesn't matter in this case what EA it is so I have I have there if I try to attach another EA meta trader asks if I really want to remove MACD sample this one that's currently running already on the chart. Uh, you know, do you really want to remove max sample and execute moving average EA on chart euro dollar one hour? You know, so basically, no, I don't want to remove max sample. I want to keep that running. If I try to attach the same EA, it asks me the same. You know, do you want to remove max sample and execute max sample? So you know. I think for most traders, it doesn't make sense what's happening. Uh, to remove this confusing thing, all MetaTrader had to do is add an extra notification in that, you know, in this pop up like in Dash. If they would say there, open another chart to attach more expert advisors. That would solve all the trouble for traders who don't know how to do this. So basically, that's the trick. I already said it. I just need to open more charts. So one expert advisor per chart. That's the rule of MetaTrader. But it allows you to have a hundred chart windows. A limit is a hundred, you know. You can have hundreds that... You know, I, I have MetaTraders running 100 charts with 100 expert advisors. Uh, it's quite a mess, you know, it's, <laughs> it might get too much uh, to handle, you know, like manually. We obviously, we have automated software for that, but, you know, manually, it's too much to handle. But, you know, we're not talking hundreds there. But if you just want to run uh, the same MACD sample, let's say, on a few other time frames of euro dollar, all we have to do is open more euro dollar charts so i'll open another euro dollar for example m30 i would switch to 30 minute chart i add another ea there look we have two now max sample of uh, you know on m30 and max sample of one hour on one hour i open the third one i switch to let's say 15 minute chart i run max sample again open one more for example, five minute, run max sample again. I open, let's say, one minute, and you know, let's let's try different this time, like moving average EA. Um, I open another one minute chart for the same euro dollar, and I run max sample again. So basically, you can run lots of e e expert advisors. You know, the limit is a hundred on the same MetaTrader. And even if that's not enough for you, you can open another terminal on the same computer, even the same account or different account, doesn't matter, and attach more expert advisors. So you can have lots of them, you know. So 
this is a you know simple trick how to have multiple meta trader uh, expert advisors running on different charts and obviously i can open more charts like uh, different currency frames uh, currency pairs like here we go my moving average on euro uh, sorry dollar yen m30 uh, dollar yen daily my example you know it's any way you want so metatrader allows open 100 of these charts uh, you can even go to window in the top menu and choose the tile windows so you can see all of them aligned like this and you know it's easier to see and no matter how many of these windows you have it can sort them out for you you know there are other options like tile horizontally uh, doesn't help much tile vertically yeah, that that looks quite cool um, you can cascade them you know any way you want or you can tile them it's basically um, the the one thing you have to remember is that it uh, is that each of these expert advisors should have different magic numbers for best performance of the EA obviously it depends on the EA like for this example I was using like my example and moving average and I don't see magic number for this type of EA you know I'm not sure why it doesn't exist there but every EA should have magic number moving average doesn't have it too so basically uh, give me a sec I'll just put another EA there quick uh, where's my folder with the robot yeah so here's here's more robots here just just some robots I created with the robot factory um, yeah I'll just I'll just take one doesn't matter uh, I'll take one robot there I'll open just really quick So installing of EAs, it's not a part of this tutorial, obviously. <laughs> I just refresh the list. But just to show you quick how the robot looks like with the uh, magic number. So basically, magic number is right there. It can be like named maybe differently for each EA, you know. So again, it depends on the EA. Uh, but if you are attaching more than one instance of the same EA on the MetaTrader, you should always know its magic number. You know, for each chart, it should be different. Otherwise, it could happen that uh, these different instances of the same EA or even the other EAs, if they happen to have the same magic number, they might um, like interfere with each other's. You know, uh, so for this one, its magic number is uh, 93 at the end. It's quite a long one, but it's 93 at the end. Uh, let's let's do this. So here we go. Here's the end. One hour chart. Let's do like four hour chart. Uh, I have to change this to like maybe 94. It doesn't matter what the magic number is. It should be different. It's like, it's like you know, I could put like one, and then I open another instance, like uh, like five minutes for example. And I I will put two this time. You know, it doesn't matter what the magic number is as long as this EA is the one who is using this magic number on this particular account. So I have this account number as a long number like 120 at the end. So for this particular trading account, the only EA that can use this magic number too, it should be this one. So I should not have multiple EAs um, instances. Doesn't matter time frame or, or symbol running the same magic number, you know. Uh, again, every EA is different. It could be coded like differently with some other things inside or you know i don't know but um as a general rule of thumb it's always to have different magic number for each ea basically like in this example we have max sample max sample uh you know and there's another max sample max sample max sample you know the all these eas they don't have uh 
parameter for changing magic number, but it should be using one. Like if I look at um, trades, let's see, I saw they closed the trades recently. Yeah, I, I believe it's magic number. Yeah, we can see magic number. It was uh, expert ID, you can see there. 20131111. So that's the magic number for max sample or either moving average. We don't know actually. And this one uses zero magic number because it says placed manually. I didn't place it manually. It was placed by max sample or either moving average. You know, while I was talking, maybe you saw like there were two trades that hit profit targets there. So basically, uh, if max sample on euro dollar five minute chart open a trade, then max sample on one hour or, or any other time frame uh, of the same or even different currency pair might close the trade early or even immediately, you know, or it might not open another trade because it got signal on another time frame. So basically, if you want, you know, EA to work uh, well, just use different magic numbers. If your EA doesn't have parameter for magic number, contact your programmer and ask to add one because every you know well coded EA should have a magic number, which helps EA to identify uh, you know which trades belong to it. You know, so if if uh, if this EA, uh, if we get to to the example of my EAs. Uh, like, for example, if this EA opens a trade, it will have ID set to this particular number that ends 9 to 4. And if this EA opens a trade, it will have magic number of 1. So they won't fight with each other, uh, you know, of those trades because this EA will look only at the trades and manage the trades only with the magic of number, uh, you know, 1. And this one will manage, manage trades only with the magic number of two. And, you know, so basically it's, it's a way for, the, for each EA to identify their own trades so that it don't, you know, interfere with trades from other EA or your manual placed trades or whatever, you know, you are using on your account. So I hope this helps. Uh, you know, it was quite a short tutorial, but uh, it's a question I get quite a lot, you know, because these things... Uh, you know, although they may might look simple, but a lot of people just get confused over them. But, you know, so I hope this video will help you to to run more, you know, expert advisors on the on the same or different time frames or whatever, you know. So see you again in other videos and yeah, have a good day.